<coughs> what it do peace welcome back to the channel today we got some more tiktok theories that are going viral I just thought i should share if you're new you know what to do that subscribe button if you have any more information about these certain videos uh please leave your comments below and with all that being said let's get into it along the west coast of the United States uh, throughout most of the 80s. And they were funneling, um, they were selling cocaine in South Central, they were also selling it in Oakland, they were selling it in San Francisco, they were selling it in San Jose. Um, and some of the money they were making was going to support an army that the men who ran the cocaine ring worked for, called the FDN. This was an army that the CIA started in 1981 and supported. Better known to us, most of us who remember news, the Contras. Nicaragua, so go right ahead. The, the men that were running the cocaine ring were top officials of this Contra army. And what we found was that um, they were selling this stuff in South Central, which is you know predominantly black section of Los Angeles, immediately before the outbreak of the crack cocaine epidemic. They started selling powder, tons and tons and tons of powder cocaine was going into this one small area of the city. And from there, they sold it to Freeway Rick. And Freeway Rick took the powder turned it into crack, and um, starting in 18, 1983, 1984, began distributing it to predominantly the, the gangs, the, the Crips and the Bloods in Los Angeles, wow. and they spread it. Is there any unexplored land left on this earth that uh -oh. might appeal to adventurous uh -oh. young Americans? Uh, yes, there is. And not up around the North Pole, because it's getting crowded up there now, because they find out it's really usable, not only to live in, but militarily. But strangely enough, there's left in the world today an area as big as the United States that's never been seen by a human being. And that's beyond the pole on the other side of the South Pole from middle America. And it's, uh, I think it's quite astonishing that there should be an area as big as that unexplored. That's a tremendous So challenge. there's a lot of adventure left down at the bottom of the world. Well, Admiral, do you We've found enough of coal within 180 miles of the South Pole in a great uh, ridge of mountains. It's not covered with snow. Enough to supply the whole world for quite a while. Dang. Well, uh, that's, that's the coal. Now, there's evidence of uh, other, many other minerals. Uh, we are pretty sure there's oil. Now, that coal shows the bottom of the world. Now, by far, the coldest spot in the world, where that coal is, gets a hundred below zero in the winter. Well, uh, it was once tropical. So uh, we think there's oil there and there's evidence, probably uranium there. Is it? What y'all think about that? Because we've been getting a lot of Antarctica oh. videos and truth being exposed. What do y'all think? Hey, to all. That's wild. Like, I've heard all kinds of stories about Antarctica being a. Uh, a type of area 51 base and stuff and only high select clientele are capable of going inside there inside those facilities i it wouldn't i wouldn't doubt it that the government <clears throat> is stationed out there controlling that entire area because there's other rumors and videos i've seen that say that supposedly it's the black hole like, if you go to the North Pole, who knows? I've never been, so. Oh my support. What was the scariest moment of the journey? It didn't happen. It could have been scary. Over the past six months, we have been investigating as well as exposing the truth behind all of these food processing plants. Good afternoon, commissioners. There's now clear evidence of NASA using numerous methods to grossly mislead the public about astronauts being on the International Space Station. 
during interior ISS scenes from NASA's own live feed, the use of wires, harnesses, green screens, and virtual reality have been detected to achieve the appearance of a weightless environment. Examples of this include astronauts fading in and out of the screen. Come on! Green screen glitches. Grabbing objects that aren't really there. What are they hiding? Pulling on invisible wires. Getting tangled in their harnesses. And even astronauts appearing out of thin air. This begs the obvious question. If they're really up there, why are they using Hollywood techniques to fake the footage? Now what's really interesting is that they train for spacewalks in an underwater pool with a complete ISS replica. We have reacted to that video before. When I tell you that man ate, he left no crumbs. Y'all gotta go see that reaction video. I'll have to like have it pop up on the screen for you guys to go watch. When I tell you that man came with gems, facts, knowledge, wisdom, information, he came with all that and more. So a floppy door is enough to protect the actonaut from the vacuum of space. Yeah. <laughs> What's so hard to believe Maybe that? we could use a handle. <laughs> They've gone overboard on the design on this one. Did he ever get it? Or is he still out in space? Dang. Because any soul coming in since 1985, really I would say 1980, is an old soul. They are here to fight, but in a way that you don't even understand. They are here to reawaken you, to help get guidance, and they all must be centered. You cannot leave those souls alone. They did not come here to be left alone. If you leave them alone, they will come into the maturity of the animal body and they will fight and kill. They have done it before, they will do it again. If you guide them, they will not be abused by computers, they master computers. Okay. In fact, it kicks in their neuron centers faster. The sounds that you hear on the air in rap the rap is only the soul that is very angry and it needs to be angry because it needs that strength of again the uh... what do you call it the gland of fight and flight can't think of the gland right now i'm talking about it needs that kind of a quickening and awakening but it also needs a time for peace and quiet and you will find once they go through that they suddenly fall asleep and they sleep very deeply because that is also to bring balance but mark my word none of these children are weak these children are strong beyond belief and they can take things that you could not take. That's why they chose this time of birth. Mm. They can be very good, they can be very bad, but they are not weak. They are strong. They were here for the final shout out. Well, are y'all 90s babies? 80s babies? Leave y'all's comments below. Let me know if that specific video is accurate or not. Because I'm a 90s baby, you know. Shout out to 93. <laughs> out to DeAndre. The film industry has been telling us all along. Oh, I read that. Great article about injecting human growth hormone to stay young. Except they never say where they're getting it from. Makes you wonder if they're sucking the youth out of small brown children somewhere so that actors and trophy wives can stay in business. Times have changed. Scaring isn't enough anymore. But kidnapping children? I'll kidnap a thousand children before I let this company die. And I'll silence anyone who gets in my way. Silence. I'll take all of you. Mm. That just reminds me of the trafficking that's going on. on it's in front of us. Hey, purify steam. Fear too, so you understand. <laughs> What? Not hocus pocus. Always the children. I never look so at it that way. So if you don't know, adrenochrome is pretty much adrenaline that gets oxidized in the blood and then extracted. And word has it that the elites use it to stay youthful and immortal. I know. It's just a conspiracy while well, celebrities admit to using foreskin to look younger. Sandra Bullock. Yeah. 
I had seen a video, uh, uh, I believe, a week ago about that foreskin shit. And I believe they were actually announcing it uh, during a, a reward ceremony. I need to look it up. If y'all know that video, please leave, the, leave it in the comments below. You push in whatever the facialist would like to insert into your pores. But what is it? It is an extraction from a, um, a, a, um, a piece of skin. It's foreskin from a Korean baby. Yeah. See, the essential yeah, part of that it. is it came from a baby. There are studies that suggest that giving an old person young blood can actually reverse aging and heal the old. And it's funny how the Bible specifically talks about not drinking blood. Maybe mm. vampires are real. Maybe this is the reason. Thank you to Rising77 for this video. I'm my own medic, my own doctor. I am my mental coach. My nutritionist, my doctor. If you do the right things, it's going to be better than other persons. For example, I take sun now, take 20 minutes, and I know it's going to help me. The sun mm -hmm. is good for the body. Of course, if I will be here all day, I will be with wrinkles, will be bad. But 20 minutes, and I feel good. With 36, I'm I'm still here. Shout out to Illa. This is straight from Ice Cube. Yo, what's cracking? You know what it is. It's your homeboy Ice Cube. Um, and some of you may not have realized um, that I'm not part of the club. And a lot I've of you listening to me times. right here, right now. You're not part of the club either. And what I realized with the club is what makes them so mad. This boy always talks so slow when he talks. Reminds me a lot of me, bro. Like, oh, God. But right now, what he's about to say is all facts. Going back to the Hollywood scandals, all that shit. He's really, like making all these people go viral right now he's exposing uh the trafficking people without saying any names is when you don't want to be a part of the club mm. that pisses them off what club am i talking about i'm talking about the club of gatekeepers that we all got to deal with you know who they are, and they definitely know who they are. Um, a lot of people would be like, what, who, who, who? Come on, man, stop playing. <laughs> so, ever since, ever since I put out the contract with Black America, you know they've been with me. Here and there, this and that. But it's cool, you know. <laughs> I expect that. Um, you know, I've been working with, you know, on the big three for a long time. And you know how they've been with me with that. I done made it, you know, plain, simple, and clear what they've been doing. You know, the NBA been with us. Now, a lot of people might say, like, well, but Cube, you want to work with the NBA. Really, I don't give a about working with the NBA. What I want them to do when I say work with us, is to stop working against us. Stop doing that bullshit behind the scenes that we know you're doing. Um, mainstream media, you know, they ain't with us. And that's cool. We can do it ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Good. We're still on the rise without these motherfuckers. So, if we don't need them, you don't need them. You know? So, what am I going to do to deal with these keepers well what i'm gonna do is go on a gatekeepers podcast tour and i'm gonna go talk to everybody everybody you know and get a chance to get my message out to the people um be able to let people hear from me you know and and you know, you might agree, you might not, but the the important thing is 
you know, for me to go on these platforms, say what I feel about what I think. And, you know, some people may get pissed off because I'm going to talk to everybody. I'm not playing. And um, it's going to be a, it's going to be a crazy summer. It's going to be fun. Appreciate y'all. Always support the big three. Hopefully I'm doing stuff that you guys dig. You know, I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing this for people that's bored as f in the summer with summer sports and want something cool like the big three. So here we are. Appreciate you. Much love, much respect from your homeboy Ice Cube. Remember that. I didn't even know he had a brand. Now I want to look into the brand on why all the other big people out there aren't messing with his brand. Shout out to Malachi. Though. Gravity payments. The C yeah, I didn't. I didn't know he had a brand, but uh, I'm surprised these other people haven't tried to like stop his brand if they're not doing so right now as we speak. But yeah, shout out to Ice Cube, man. Like he's holding it down for real. And the NBA, man, they just <laughs> they just want to steal Ice Cube's profit. Sounds like that's wild. <laughs> CEO was ridiculed because he had the audacity to say he's raising the minimum wage of his company, had over 100 employees. He did this about six or seven years ago, right? Everybody, all the economists, all of the Republican pundits, they said this guy is going to lose. Company will fail. He cut his own salary to what make sure is. everybody at the company could get at least $70,000 a year and more. Here's some of that background. What I wanted to announce today is we're going to have a minimum uh, $70,000 pay rate for everyone that works here. Have you seen the CEO of the Seattle-based company who raised the minimum wage at his credit card processing company to $70,000 per year? Lunatic of all lunatics, Dan Price, CEO of Gravity Payments. I hope this company is a case study in MBA programs on how socialism does not work because it's going to fail. Mm, wow. Thoughts on this guy? First, personally, I think he's a socialist, but this is the man who's doing it. Are you a socialist? Well, look, you know, I don't support a minimum wage increase because it's a job killer, but he's a private business owner. If he wants to do this in between hugging trees. I have a hunch we're going to know Dan Price for a really long time. But the 130 employees of Gravity Payments, I think they're going to be on the welfare line. Yeah, that's what they said about the guy. Okay, company is doing better than ever. Profits in the millions. His workers have been able to purchase homes, have children, enjoy life. His retention rate is higher than the national average. Why? Because he did what the economist and the pundits said he could not do. Yeah. He was fair. Flip it. He was fair and it worked. Uh, let's put up this amazing uh, tweet from Mr. Dan Price, the CEO, good and you shall receive who has you. done the unbelievable. Dan Price said, six years ago today, I raised my company's minimum wage to $70,000. Fox News called me a socialist whose employees would be on bread lines. Since then, our revenue tripled. We're, we're a Harvard Business School case study. And our employees had a 10-time boom in homes bought. Always invest in people. Wow, he did it. Now what you got to say? I'm talking to all of the conservatives and economists who will say, no, no, right. no, no, no. The only way to make this work is through trickle down economics. Uh, you, you must incentivize the rich in order uh, to validate and in order to um, uplift those in the middle class and the poor. Damn lie. He just. You see the media, they're all rich. They want us, you know, low life income people you know low income people to stay in the low especially you know white country people like straight up i've been to like four or five different small towns and i always hear them talk about shit like that and they get upset when certain presidents help out the poor more than they help out the rich like it's it's insane how they don't want us to rise you know
This guy upset it probably a whole nation of people that just want to stay up and above everyone else. It just reminds me of the Hunger Games people. All those rich, wealthy motherfuckers over there just eating stuff to, like, be full and shit. Like, overstuffing themselves and not having to worry about an hour or a minute of work. Like, that shit's wild. Proved every single one of you suckers wrong. Did. All of you. Did. Now, who's going to apologize to Mr. Dan Price? Will it be him? Put up his picture. Let's put him up. Roll all those clowns put up. Put who up, said this could not be possible. This could not happen. Everybody, Everybody universally on the right called Dan Price a lunatic. Kendrick Lamar just became the first rapper to call out music that's made by AI. AI gotta practice calling Kendrick the double entendre, the encore. This was from his remix of Beyonce's America Has a Problem, and he has a point here. A lot of rappers like Drake who are more listened to for their flows and melodies can be duplicated by AI, while lyrical storytellers like Kendrick can't really be replaced. It might sound like him, but the deeper meanings behind his lines are what made him unique in the first place. The rise of AI music might just make rap go back to being about lyricism and quality of storytelling, and I'm here for it. Shout out to Garbear. Out in the open now, they're not even trying. <laughs> trying to conceal it anymore the owners of the country have t they bought their elect got their election they said we're going to get this election we put you people in that court for a reason right, now back the kind to of earth chaos. for you and now we, yeah forget all that stupid <laughs> would you? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're out in the open they're, open, no they're openly driving the bus and we're all in the back there is no well, there no. is no national conspiracy to buy elections and control america now that, talk about oh, back to earth back but you because. don't need a formal conspiracy right. when interests converge. These people went to the same universities right. and Please. fraternities. They're on the it's same board of directors. They're in the same country clubs. They have like interests. They yes. don't need to call a meeting. They know what's good for them. It's a and they're getting it. And there, there used to be seven oil companies. There are now three. It will soon oh. be two. The things that matter in this country have been reduced in choice. There are two political parties. There are a handful of insurance companies. There are about six or seven in information. But if you want a bagel, there are 23 flavors because you have the illusion. You have the illusion of choice. Right. You don't get the real important choice. There's no freedom of choice. Nothing else will do that. And in hospitals today, they use charcoal for poisoning cases. We've heard about One girl these. said to me, I had an overdose and they gave me a choice to have my stomach pumped out or take charcoal. She said, I chose the charcoal. So charcoal absorbs and neutralizes poisons. So it can be used internally and it can be used externally. Now charcoal doesn't have a taste. Mm. And you can use it if any poison has been ingested. And it can also be used if a person has diarrhea or um, gastric or bloating. The charcoal, when it's taken, will absorb and neutralize the poisons and can bring a lot of relief. So if ever I had a baby that had a bit what? of diarrhea, I'd give her a bit of charcoal. And when I got the black nappy, because I didn't use disposable nappy, I knew that my baby was well. Because once that charcoal goes through, it absorbs and neutralizes the poisons. So you can use it internally and you can use it externally. You use it externally, again, for cases of poisoning. So it can be used for a bee sting, a uh, ant bite, a snake That's bite? Nice you don't have many snakes here. Hmm? <laughs> we have a few in Australia. Spider bites? Do you have spiders? Oh, maybe we don't need to talk about the child. <laughs> Wasps? <laughs> These, any sting, um, it, it's quite incredible. You almost have to experience it to believe it, that it takes the pain out straight away. And the reason it takes the pain out is because... It absorbs and neutralizes the poison. <clears throat> well, once again, guys, um, we have these theories that will remake you think reality and everything. Uh, if you have any more, any more information about these certain videos, please share them in the comments. Uh, and uh, y'all yeah, stay safe out there, you know. Keep sending more videos my way if you can. Um, through all my accounts here that you can see and with all that being said y'all stay safe out there and god bless <laughs>